performance. How important was it to get some minutes into the, some of the players that maybe hadn't played as much so far this season? Yeah, I think it's it's always nice to do that and in a competitive game. I think I said after afterwards you can have training ground games and they still have the part to play, but it's still better when there's something on it. Uh, it might not have been as big a crowd, but we were against a, a strong Mansfield team as well. I think they, they changed a lot around, but we've got a strong squad. So it was a, it felt like a proper game. And, uh, you know, Nigel said that afterwards, he, he kind of, I'm sure he would have liked to have won, but he enjoyed the game, as I think most people did that were there. Um, and valuable minutes, certainly for, for a lot of lads. The first experience of maybe pulling on the shirt or starting. So it was a, a, a good evening and it kept us in the competition. Have some of the performances left you with a difficult decision to make this weekend? I'll certainly have uh, some decisions to make in terms of the match day squad. Um, you know that now we are at a point where we've got quite a few more than the 18 that I can uh, select. Some of that might be, you know, you're not going to pick seven forwards on the bench, for example. So some of it might just unfortunately come down to positional uh, choices. But you know, all those lads are important. You know, no matter who's left out, and I keep saying that to them because whether it's just driving standards in training, whether it'll be the next game that they're back in, um, but you know that unfortunately that's that's all we can select. I guess it's part and parcel of being a manager having to make them tough decisions. But can you accept maybe players are frustrated and maybe sometimes come to you for more minutes? Does that does that happen sometimes? Yeah, of course. Um, I certainly had quite a few of those moments playing. You know, you go and see the manager and, and ask for reasons or if you feel that the reasons are, are obvious and someone's, you know, you've got to be honest with yourself first and foremost, that's what I would say. Uh, but if someone's in your position doing really, really well, like I said before, you, you might ask to go out on loan. Um, and I've no issues with that as long as, you know, it's not a case of just getting the, the white flag out because you're not in the team one week or for a couple of games, you know, You'll be treated properly. Training will be good. It's a good team spirit. It's a good group to be part of. But uh, you know, I, I'm I'm not silly. I think we all understand you want to play a game, and if that's not happening at the end of a week, and you've you've worked hard, trained hard, um, that can be hard to take. Some cope with it better than others, I have to say. Um, but I'm sure that they all care. It's some just have different ways of showing that. So Croker, Mafite and Clifton were the only players to start the game from Saturday's game. What was it about those players that made you want to stick with them? Um, Max, I think, just in good form and I, I don't think it hurts. I, I, you know, Keepers and Steve Crowson will, will say different, but the physical exertion is certainly not as, as much as the outfield players. There's no doubt about that. Mentally, I, I get that. Uh, but he's in a good place, Max, so I think, you know, keep, keep him playing. Right back, Jordan Cropper's injured, so we struggle in terms of what the next option was. Maybe Harry, but we were light in midfield with the injuries, Alex Hunt being cup-tied. So it was more around that, really, rather than thinking, oh, Harry needs some minutes or, or Misha needed minutes. Just a more a needs-must case. We managed to, not Harry, but certainly Misha, we, we got a, him a rest at Derby. So... It kind of is what it is. The lads can do it, but at the same time, there's still an element of, of trying to keep people fresh. I think Swindon did, I think they had four maybe playing that have been playing as well. So, you know, no different to to a lot of teams, to be honest. So another clean sheet uh, the other night as well. How important was that, particularly when you'd made changes to the defence? It's pleasing. I think it'll be pleasing for the lads that came in to show that they can, can do that as well, along with Max. But again, it like your, your defenders and your goalkeepers probably take a little more pride in that, but it's a team effort. We gave away a couple of chances, um, but in general you're going to do that in a game and then it's whether the opposition takes and whether we can get a block or or maybe Max makes a save. So it was pleasing because his defensive record has been, been good and while that side of it I, I understand isn't as exciting for people, uh, it's the basis of, of a good team and always gives you an opportunity in games if you're not conceding many goals. So looking ahead to this weekend, Swindon's had a bit of an indifferent start but they've got some quality, especially up front. What kind of test do you think they'll provide for you? I've just said before, for me, 
you know, I, I get what you say about the start, what they've looked like the last couple of games they've won in terms of the league. Um, they're the best team I've seen so far. I haven't seen everyone yet. Uh, I understand they're not top of the league at this moment in time, but they're in possession without doubt. They've been the most expansive, the most kind of rotations. They've got players that are extremely comfortable on the ball. Uh, missed out on the playoffs last season. I know McCurdy's gone, but a lot of the same sort of players. Uh, the core, the manager changed, but again, an assistant that, that has stepped up, knows exactly how they play. I'm sure maybe tweet one or two things for his own liking, uh, but they'll be strong contenders from what I've watched. Um, so I'm expecting it to probably be as tough as test to date and one where we'll have to be very good, very disciplined uh, in his play. To, to try and get a, a result that we all want. In terms of yourselves, there's obviously been some really good away performances and at home as well, but how important is it to get that first home league win of the season? Uh, it'd be nice, but I'm, again, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Like, it's nice to win because you're at home and we have more fans, but as I said, when we go away, the people that have you know, made that effort uh, and I know lots more people would go and some can't go for whatever reasons, but it's nice to reward them. Um, but you just want to win every game, to be honest. It doesn't matter where we play it. We could play on, on the moon in the car park. I, I'd want to win. Uh, and that's always the aim. It's just at the minute a, a bit of, I guess, a, a bit of stranger trend that, that's occurring for us. Normally it's the other way around. Um, but... Not, nothing changes, our, our approach doesn't change. I've said that, we're not a team. I've never been a manager where it's like, oh, we're away from home, we need to do this. We're, we're going to really play differently. Um, big believer in trying to play how you play. And we'll continue to do that. And, and hopefully we can get that win uh, as soon as possible. Got two home games to try and get it. Be great if we can get it uh, on Saturday.